Hi guys, it's Heli and I make videos that will increase your IQ level. So if you want to click subscribe and in today's video, I'm recommending some books which are easy to read for beginners. Note that just because these books are easy to read doesn't mean these are very plain or simple books. The concepts, the twists, all of them are brilliant in most of these books. By easy, I mean that the language of these books are very simple. So you don't really need to consult the dictionary hundreds of times while reading this book, which is a great problem that beginners face when they start reading books. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. The first book is Your Destination Has Arrived by Barry Chima. This is today's sponsored book recommendation. I would like to thank the author for sponsoring this video. And this book is an unbelievable story that you would love to believe. This is what the tagline says and I was really impressed by it. So the plot of this book has a dog and uh, give me a high five if you're a dog person. I love dogs and whenever I read about a dog in a blurb, let's talk about a book like Curious Incident of the Dog at the Night Time, I am immediately interested. So in this book, there's a dog called Bruno who has been given a human life in exchange of his acts of bravery. And you really need to read the book to understand how he got it. I don't want to spoil it for you. But obviously human life comes with its consequences. And also, since this is sort of magical realism, it's not going to be that simple, is it? So this book follows Bruno as a human. And I'm sure that if you're interested in this type of things, you will like this book. One more book that is sort of along the same lines, but also very different is Metamorphosis in which the human actually becomes an insect. So, but coming back to your destination has arrived. The language in this book is very simple. I love the cover and I am sure that this book is going to be perfect for any beginner. And by the way, all the links to all the books that I'm recommending today will be in the description below. So go check them out and purchase them on Amazon. The next book I'll recommend for beginners is a nonfiction book called The Quick and Easy Way to Effective Speaking. I already have made a video on the summary of this book. I'll try to link it down below. But this book is basically what it tells that it is about. If you are some someone who struggles with public speaking, with speaking confidently, this book is going to help you out. This book was pretty cheap, like it was around 60 rupees, I guess, when I got it. So if budget is a constraint, you can easily get this book at least. And the thing is, you don't really have to read this book completely. Even if you read a couple of lines from every chapter, you'll get the gist of it and you'll be able to apply it in your life because speaking more than reading is all about application, okay? So if you're someone who wants to be fluent in speaking, this book is one that you must buy. The next book that I'll recommend is The Hen Who Believed She Could Fly by Sunmi Huang. This book is on Storytel. I listened to this book as an audiobook. So if you don't know what audiobook are it's basically people reading you out from a book and if you're someone who is very busy in life you can just tune into an audiobook like you would tune into music or the radio and it really simplifies the whole process my 30-day free trial link of Storytel will be in the description below with this link you will get access to all the books on Storytel for free for 30 days and after that it's just 2.99 per month so if you're if you are looking into getting into reading you will get access to so many books at a little price instead of you know having to experiment with a lot of physical paperbacks which is obviously going to cost you higher but coming back the hen who believed she could fly is about a hen called sprout who really wants to hatch an egg but the thing is she is a chicken in a coop so all her eggs are taken away from her but finally uh, she uh, in a turn of events i won't want to i don't want to spoil it entirely for you but in a turn of events she she hatches a duck's egg and it's beautiful it's like a story of uh, adoption but with animals and if you want to read something which is made for children but adults at the same time because the whole story is told from the perspective of a chicken and uh, animals around her but you can easily fit it into humans who also go through similar things in their lives and it's a beautiful audiobook it was about three or four hours and if you are a k-pop fan this is Korean literature, so you should definitely give it a try. The next book is a book that I was sort of conflicted about recommending because I did not like this book as much as I thought I would. This book was nominated for a prize last year, but I, I was shocked because honestly, this book is not that good, but it's a good book for beginners. Tabish Kher's Night of Happiness. If you want to read something controversial, if you want to read something about religions and the conflict, 
you will like this book but otherwise i think give this book a miss because it doesn't handle the topics very well next book is a book recommendation from japanese literature and it's if cats disappeared from the world if you're a cat lover you're going to love this today i recommended books about dogs cats i think only rabbits are left so please recommend me a book about rabbits because i have two lovely rabbits yes i am a rabbit mom okay coming back If Cats Disappeared from the World is a book about this guy who gets to know that he's going to die and then the devil comes and tells him that he can stop uh, himself from dying every day by eliminating one thing from the world. So if you eliminate one thing, you'll get one more day in your life. So he starts with a phone and then he goes on to movies, but slowly he sort of realizes that this can't go on like this. The realization and the lessons of this book are brilliant. Bri- absolutely brilliant. If you are looking for something a little more difficult, uh, if you love cats, I would recommend The Traveling Cat Chronicles by I forgot the name of the author, but this is also a Japanese author. I remember that. And since we are on Japanese writers, I will move on to a book which is sort of a psychological thriller but extremely easy to read once again all of these books are from Storytel so Storytel has this collection of Asian Japanese Korean literature and I binge read okay coming back this book is called The Gun by Fumi Nori Nakamura I think that was the name of the Japanese author this book is about this guy who was running one day and he finds a gun on the road beside a dead body and I have no idea how stupid people can be um i do have an idea how stupid people can be but uh, this guy picks up the gun and goes home with it and the thing is this gun starts manipulating him there is only one character who is sort of like the protagonist in this novel who picks up the gun but when you read the book it feels like the gun itself is the protagonist the way the gun manipulates the psychological state of this man it's crazy the position of the gun it makes him it drives him totally crazy and the way he justifies his thoughts is even better if you want a psychological ride this book is very easy to read but it is going to leave you wrecked and the last japanese author by the way why am i recommending so many japanese writers because i guess i found their writing very easy maybe because they are mostly in translation but this book is called malice if you are someone who is interested in authors and their lives but a psychological and mystery genre to read This book is going to make you so happy and you're going to thank me. So go grab this book right now. Next book that I recommend is Punachi by Perumal Murugan. If you have followed last year's JCB Prize Awards, this book was nominated and I'm I'm so upset that it didn't win. But yeah, I have read the winning book and it was better than this one. So coming to Punachi, it's about a strange lamp in a strange world, but this book is sort of like a political satire and if you want to read something that you can brag about to your friends even though you're just starting reading, you have to read punachi because i guess since you are a beginner you can't read animal farm if you are interested in science i will highly recommend you guys to read the invisible man by ag wells or the time machine i have a copy of the invisible man that's why i'm recommending this uh ag wells is one of my favorite science fiction writers the invisible man is about this man who is invisible um as if you didn't know that from the title itself so he's uh, wrapped in bandages because you can't really see him because it's a chemical experiment gone wrong it's crazy and uh, i love the ending of this book um it's i wish i could be invisible by the way sometimes when i am in socially awkward situations but let's not drive into existential crisis and such thoughts because i have to keep like a few more books this book is penelope fitzgerald's the bookshop if you want to read a nobel prize winning author and you are a bit skeptical because usually nobel prize winning authors write very difficult books this book is easy to read comparatively it's available on storytel and this is about a woman who decides to open a bookshop in a town that doesn't really appreciate uh, the importance or the brilliance of a bookshop the story itself is very sad but i guess i like the ending even though i didn't think that i will another non fiction read recommendation and this is specifically for people who want to accomplish a lot of things in life this book is called the 10x rule by grant cardone again available on storytel this book is about how you need to push yourself you need to push the limits that you have set on yourself so that you don't achieve what you want but actually 10 times of what you want the 
main concept is that if you want to make 100 rupees you should work so that you can make 1000 rupees similarly if your end of the year goal is to make 1 lakh rupees you should work in a way that will uh, be appropriate for someone who makes 10 lakh rupees in a year so the whole idea of it just pushes you to be someone who you are not right now so that you can be the one that you want to be. The book itself is narrated by Grant Cardone and if you follow that guy, he's very manipulative in the way he speaks. I love it. I love it. Um, I really want to be such a speaker in the future. And uh, yeah, you, you should definitely give this book a read if you want to improve your life by 10 times. Next book recommendation is When I Hit You by Meena Kandasamy. I had no idea a book on abusive marriages can be written so well well I was I, this was the first book that I read in 2019 and it had me in tears and it also made me realize that it might not be always a good idea to marry someone who is very good in literature because this guy is ex, this guy in this book was very manipulative as well but not in the Grant Cardone way but in a very abusive way which was definitely not something that you should look out for in a partner um, but that's not what is important about this book this book highlights the situation of abusive marriages and relationships very well not only for women but even for men I'm sure that men have also been in abusive relationships and uh, I think you might resonate with this book if you have this book that I recommend is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab I have not read her popular books like a shade of dark and light whatever that name of that book was but i have read city of ghosts i liked it not great but okayish book you can go for it if you want to start with something which is about ghosts but not in the spooky way but rather in the funny and the friendly way my next recommendation will be jora shako by aruna chakravarti if you are someone who is from bengal and even if you aren't i'm sure you are aware of this man called rabindranath tagore and this book highlights the life of the women in his household there's a sequel to this book called daughters of jora shako and if anybody wants to gift me a book please give me that book Thank you. Now the last book I'll recommend today is a mythology recommendation and this book is called Karna's Wife. This book is by the author of one of my favorite mythology books of all time. Uh, it is uh, Kavita Kane. Kavita Kane has written this book called Fisher Queen's Dynasty which is one of my favorites because it highlights the life of Satyavati, the wife of Shantanu, the woman because of whom you can say everything of Mahabharata began. The problem I had with Karna's wife is that it felt too simple but I wanted to recommend this book to you guys in today's video because I have recommended uh, Fisher Queen's Dynasty a lot of times in my previous videos and I don't want to be repetitive. Since Ruskin Bond is the one who I think should bring everybody into reading, you have to read Ruskin Bond's book. There are so many books of Ruskin Bond. I won't recommend any particular ones I guess. You can grab any of them and they are all equally brilliant. But I guess I will recommend one and oh, oh god what a hypocrite am I okay but <laughs> okay I will recommend Time Stops at Shamli if you have watched my previous videos you know what this book is about so yeah guys these were all the 15 books that I had to recommend in today's video if you're a beginner if you want to get started with reading you can never ever go wrong with these books I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The links to the free trials and all the books of Amazon are in the description below. Make sure you shop from the description links because that helps me a lot in keeping posting content on my channel. If you like this video, give this video a big fat thumbs up. If you have any recommendations for me, leave them in the comment section below. And now I'm going to take your leave. Bye bye. Have a good day ahead.